Hi, I'm Jim W6LG, your ham radio Elmer here on YouTube. Welcome to my radio room in Rockland, California. Um, Want to set up two bird 43 watt meters. Those years ago and maybe even today were the standard of the industry for measuring the output of a transmitter. Uh, the bird 43s look a little bit like these two. And I'll bring them up on the screen. No, back out of the way. And um, I want to uh, do some tests at 400 megahertz, 450 megahertz. Um, but I stopped short of hooking it up completely when I realized that I had some brand new and some really old um, right angle connectors. The old ones um, look a little bit like these. They're tarnished and uh, kind of black. And the new ones look like these they're shiny and uh, look really clean i've got lots of them i've got many of them i've got some already in the uh, 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 aa3000 from the folks at rig expert who make some really neat devices and this one is uh, the um, the 3000 i'm gonna get it going here and the software's already started up. And I'm going to take a string of them and connect uh, short out the end. And I want to measure the return loss. Why am I doing that? Well, the AA3000 is going to send a signal down to uh, through the, uh, the right angle connectors and then back. Uh, it's going to return pretty much everything because there's a short, an alligator clip at the end of those uh, connectors. So let's do this. I'm going to, let's see, measure, uh, I've got, let's measure 10 of them. Okay, so let's scan um, 10 of the new connectors from uh, 420 to 450 megahertz. I'm going to short the far end. Okay, let's scan. Again, these are the new connectors and 10 of them. So a single scan. And let's mark that. So in round numbers, um, we can use this exactly, but uh, 3 dB, a hair more than 3 dB. Now let's scan 10 of the old connectors. And again, these are like 50 years old. And I'll short, the, uh, short, short, I'll short the far end. Okay, now these are the old connectors. We know that the new connectors were 3.16 um, dB loss uh, in the range of 420 to 450 megahertz, so around 3 dB. So let's see what these do, and again, uh, shorted at the far end, ready to go. Uh, <laughs> well, that's a surprise. Am I doing that right? Yeah, I am. Okay, these are the old connectors. And so we had uh, 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 0.37 for 10 connectors. So let me bring up the calculator. So the new connectors are eight and a half times more lossy. The old connectors, dirty, filthy, that I've had forever, um, had almost no loss at 450 megahertz plus or minus. The new ones had about three dB loss. Now again, that was 10 connectors. It's not likely that I'm going to use 10 connectors, but I am using a couple. And I've got to be really accurate in the device I'm measuring, which is a transceiver. Um, I want to know what the really, I want to know what the output is. I've got the right slug, uh, and uh, I need a right angle connector so that the bird 43 watt meters would stay on the shelf, forward and reflected. And I've got a dummy load that will go to uh, uh, 400 megahertz and be accurate. Well, uh, I didn't think it would be that much of a difference, but uh, there is. 
I've done the measurement a couple of different ways with uh, five connectors and two connectors, and it comes out about the same. But the new connectors are much more lossy than the old connectors once you get uh, up there in frequency. By that I mean uh, two meters and above. Uh, the new ones become exceptionally lossy. Why is that? And like I said, I've got a lot of these. I probably have uh, 20 to 30 of them. I think it's the plating. Um, it may also be the dielectric, which is a white material. Not Teflon. Uh, clearly not Teflon. Um, uh, inside the connector, uh, after a little disc, which is the insulating material to hold the the pin in the right position the rest of that is just air on the inside so it takes a right right turn i don't know uh, i know that when i thread the new ones on uh, it becomes a bit difficult as cal and the dx commander and i were discussing and when i thread on the old ones uh, the pitch is just right and they thread right on all right there you go um the new connectors I'm going to give them away. I, I've got plenty of the old ones, and I've got a friend coming by to pick up some stuff. I'm just going to give them to them with the caution that they're they're good at HF. But beyond that, if you have to have an accurate measurement, uh, they're not so good. What did we learn? Well, we learned that many new connectors really aren't all that well made. Uh, they may look shiny. If they're not silver Teflon, you may want to pass on buying them especially at a uh, ham fest or ham show if some guy's got some ugly old um, um, peel 259s that are tarnished or so 239s but they look old and they're silver plated that's just tarnished they may be good um, and so i'm going to keep these and and uh, get rid of the uh, the newer ones if you haven't subscribed, do that. If you have a comment, if you think I made a mistake on how I measured or you have an opinion that's different, that's great. Put it below. Let's hear what you have to say. If you haven't subscribed, uh, please uh, do that. Subscribe if, uh, if at all possible. I'm Jim W6LG in Rockland, California, saying 73. See you the next time. Bye-bye.